In this video, I want to go over the right number and expanded form problem on Code Wars. And what it wants you to do is it's going to give you a number called num, and we need to write that number in expanded form. So say, for example, they give us 12, we need to return 10 plus 2. If they give us 70,304, we need to return 70,000 plus 300 plus 4. Now, I want to go over the algorithm or how we're going to solve this with code with you real quick with my own example. Sorry, wrong tab. The way we do this is, say we have the number 10,365. I have already written it in expanded form, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to iterate throughout this entire integer, and for every integer in this big integer, we're going to check to see if it's a non-zero number. So 1 is non-zero, so what we do is we bring it down, and we write it, we append it to our string. From here, we need to figure out how many zeros we need to append to 1. And the way we can do this is from the position that we're on right now, which is 1, plus 1. So from here, we need to count how many positions are left in this array. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the length of from the position in front of 1 to the end of the list is 4. So we append 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 is 0, so we skip 0. 3, we get to 3, is a non-zero number, integer, so we bring it down. How many zeros do we append to it? 1, 2, you can see 1, 2. 6 is non-zero, we bring it down. How many zeros do we append it to it? 1, 5 is non-zero, how many zeros do we append to it? There's nothing left, so none. Now that is going to be the algorithm to solve this problem. And let me zoom in real quick. Yeah, so zoom in. All right. So let's get to solving this. The first thing we're going to want to do is this number variable right here is an integer. Integers are not iterable. So the, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a string. So we're going to say number is equal to string num. Now it's iterable, and we can use this as a for loop. We need to now create the string that we're going to use to return at the end of the list. This string is going to contain the expanded form that this function is expecting to return. So we're just going to call it st, and it's going to equal to empty space for now. Okay, so from here we need to iterate throughout our um, string, and I'm just going to say for j, i, and enumerate num. And the reason we're doing this, uh, if you don't know what enumerate does, essentially what this is going to do is going to take number and for every element in this or every integer in this number it's going to add an index to it. J will be that index. So say number is 678. I for the very first iteration will be 6 but J will be 0 or the index of 6. 7 for the second iteration will be I. J will be 1 uh, the, which is the index of 7, and so on and so forth for however long that number is. And the reason we're doing this is because j, we're going to use j to figure out, we need to know at all times what position we are in that string so we can figure out how many zeros we need to append to i if it is not 0. So next we need to check to see uh, if i is not 0. So if i does not equal 0, remember we turn it into a string, so we have to make it a string. Um, we need to append. We're going to do something real quick. Just bear with me and I'll explain this to you. So we're going to do st or a string plus equals um, plus dot format i sorry about that i comma the length of num from j plus 1 to the end of the list, but that's how many zeros we need to append to it, so we're going to do times um, 0. Okay, so if you don't know what this is doing, I'm going to explain to you real quick. The format method, all it does is, you see these curly brackets right here? I will go in this curly bracket, which will be the non-zero non integer. And for the second curly bracket, it'll be the number of zeros that we need to append to i. Now, the reason j will be the index of i, and if i is not zero, we've appended it here. 
Meaning what we need to do from here is find out how many zeros we need to put here. If j is the index, if we do j plus 1 or from the position in front of i to the end of the list, that's how many zeros we need to add. So if we multiply uh, this by 0, that'll append however many zeros we need to put here. I hope that makes sense. And then we're done. However, um, if you've noticed by now, you're going to notice that there's going to be a plus at the very beginning of our string. If you look over here, there isn't one. So what we can use is a very nice function that Python has, and it's called strip. So we can return st uh, dot strip. What this strip function does is whatever we put in parentheses is going to be stripped from the very beginning of our string and the very end of our string. If we put a plus here, as you'll notice, there's going to be a plus at the very beginning of our um, string. So we need to remove that from the beginning so it meets this criteria, this format right here. So if we test this. Okay, um, I need to put a space here, I believe. Test. Three passed. Okay. Attempt. All 100 and test case passed. Um, so that's going to be a quick video on the right number and expanded form problem on Code Wars. It was more, a more of a simple problem, but I hope that you learned something. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.